Thank you for that. Uh, I appreciate uh, that information on that. Is there a way to address this with what you have said? We're, we're 12 in the nation as far as the number of highway miles. And for a state our size, that is certainly an abnormal. We're, we're an aberration there on that. Is there a way to address that internally uh, to be able to uh, uh, fix this situation? Well, we have more highway miles in the state of California, for instance. If we, we have more highway miles in California, New York, and Florida. Um, we, we were given about 5,500 miles by the legislature back in the 1970s. Um, we're not trying to give them back. Uh, they're, they are public roads. So whether, whether they're highways, whether they're county roads, whether they're city streets, they're public roads that need to be taken care of. And, and that's what we're trying to do. Over the last several years, because our highway system is so big, is so big, our revenue is so low, we have focused on what we call the Arkansas Primary and Highway Network. There's about 50% of the miles that carry about 90% of the traffic. So our dollars are going to focus on that 50% of the system. We also have to take care of the other 50%, and then we're keeping it patched together right now. A lot of those miles of highways are rural highways, but they are very viable highways for agriculture which is one of the biggest parts of our economy. We've had to put weight restrictions on highways, we've had to put weight restrictions on bridges in rural areas because we don't have the money to fix them. That has a huge impact on the economy for one of the biggest parts of our economy, and that's agriculture, also tourism. So this would, these bills combined, and combined with the existing revenue that we give, would allow us to take care of all of those highways and not have to focus on one over the other. Thank you. Representative 